Hello, my name is Peter Hitchcock and I'm an agronomist with Prime Agriculture looking after approximately 4,000 hectares across Essex and South Suffolk. I'm also here on a family farm in Stocking Pelham. We're growing 760 hectares of combinable crops. When choosing varieties, we like to see how it performs on different types of land um, and we match the variety to our soil type. We tend to be on Hanslope series clay here, um, so quite heavy soils. So we look down a recommended list and see, see how it will perform on that. Um, and that's why TARDIS works for us here. So when choosing winter barley varieties, we like to look at something which has got a good all round package. Uh, treated and untreated yield is both very important for us. We also like to look at something with a high specific weight so that we know in a low spec weight year, we're not gonna have any problems marketing it. Um, standing power is another really important thing for us. So we like to look at stuff with quite short, stiff straw. So uh, winter barley tends to come as a fourth cereal for us after spring barley. Um, so it's really important that we're growing something with a good score for net blotch as we tend to get carryover of disease from the previous residue of the crop before. Um, so TARDIS has got a sixth net blotch, which really works for us well. This crop of TARDIS was drilled on the 28th of September at um, quite a high seed rate at 400 seeds per metre squared. Um, it's come through the season quite well. It got off to a really good start before we had that wet spell of weather. Um, however, that wet spell of weather has probably made the rooting system quite lazy. Um, so it looks like we could be in for a high lodging year this year. So we're really glad that we've got TARDIS in due to its stiff straw as it performed better in lodging in comparison to a lot of other varieties last year. Thank you.